Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Brian here, and welcome back to The Devil and Me. In exchange for tarnishing the run, like I did in the last episode, in, in exchange for Aaron's life, we have lost Mark's camera, which I have a feeling would have been a critical piece of evidence in, you know, getting this whole thing resolved and stuff like that. Potentially saving Char Charlie's business, but I decided that Aaron's life was more important than my indecision in the last episode of keeping Aaron alive. So that, that to me is just karma getting the best of me. By saving Aaron, we lost the camera. And I've stuck with that. However, in my other save file that, I, that where Aaron died, I actually did catch the camera. So I, I have two timelines right now. One where I caught the camera and Aaron died. And the other one where Aaron Liz survived, but I lost the camera, so. However, no matter what, Aaron is still dead. She may be alive in this run right now, but she technically is still dead. So we will treat her as a ghost from this point out. Unless, of course, she dies again, in which case then, then I guess maybe uh, that's just how it is, I suppose. By the way, is the camera even in there? I mean, it looks like like it's, it pretty much dissolved into like nothing. And even if we could get it back, it's probably like really, really uh, it's pretty much dead. I can't even see the camera in in, in the uh, in the fluids either, which I think is weird. still have the flash, though. Oh, shit, probably good that does us. Okay. We continue. Okay, dokey. What do we got here? I haven't saw any pictures in a while, either, which is a little bit concerning to me. You know, I don't want to do this, but I, it's the only way I, I can't hear anything right now. And maybe that's for the better. Ooh, we got 30. I actually did spend the coins to get some of the dioramas in the, uh, in the special features. What the hell is the point of this even? So, yeah. Oh, look at this. It's one of those pictures? No. It's paint thinner. What exactly are we going to do with that? Mark can extend his monopod to reach high objects. Thank you, Mark. Oh, look at that, a camera lens. Don't go without a camera. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, that was pointless. But hey, we got it. Yay. It's almost like the guy just like, ha, 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 ha. I had a gift for you, but you decided to drop it in that thing of acid or paint thinner or whatever it was, so. Ha 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 ha, screw you. Fool. Alright, let's get moving here. Before he starts yelling at me, being all like, We gotta get moving, ying, 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 ying. locked. Wow, go figure. Hmm. Gee, I totally didn't see that one coming. So what the hell do we do now? Just keep flashing the flash and hoping the battery doesn't die? Better 
be a lot of paint thinner down. Oh, wait, what's not? Is this the door? Being back to where I can't. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Where'd he go? Oh, he went in here. Okay, well maybe he opened that door. That'd be really nice. Okay, so now I just killed Jamie. Okay, so I just killed, um, I just killed, um, Mark. So, yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah. Sure. I mean, it's not like I could find a place to hide or anything like that. Ah. an opportunity to save him possibly I don't know I can hope I mean he's twist tied right now so perhaps we can save him maybe probably not oh, of course. yo I'm not some fucking lab rat here for your amusement well, apparently you are now lady Uh, apparently this is leading her down some, uh, road that she, uh, this, uh, yeah, this isn't gonna be good. Uh, I'd like for spot a tape, please. Spot. Are you kidding me right now? So now what? Alright, so I'm guessing that the wall back here closed up. You know what? I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna keep moving. Cause that is what we gotta do. Oh lord. This is where they had um Oh, I mean, this isn't where she, they had Aaron before. Oh, God. Holy cripes. Oh, God. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Alright, so I'm thinking that... We 
you turn this one on first. Then maybe this. Oh, yeah, that didn't work. All right, so maybe I gotta turn this one on, then this one. Then we come down to this one. Then we come up to this one. Then we come over to this one. Then turn this. Okay, maybe not. What the hell is the point of the multimeter then? Alright, so we turn that on. Then we turn this on. Then we come over here. We turn this on. Then we turn this on. Then we turn this on. Turn this on, then we turn, hopefully, maybe, possibly, this one, and then this one. Shocking. Alright, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, shit. Where's my flashlight? Yes, there we go. Oh, okay. So we got a little sliver of space now. Hooray. Really? All that just for that? I mean, I guess I shouldn't complain, but seriously? That was all they got? You know what? Whatever. We got out. That's all that matters. Lock, lock, locked. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. This is my I'm not scared song. I'm gonna be alright. So, is this my room? Is this her room? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, look at that. No, apparently not. Apparently you got your place got fucked. Someone went through your belongings and screwed you up. Something fierce, girl. What the hell is this? Oh, it's, a, oh, it's an Aaron's lip balm. She lost this at the beginning of the game. It's an original flavor. Lip smacking good. Why didn't you pick it up? Lip smacking goodness. Perfect kissing. Okay. I'm so surprised you didn't pick it up, but whatever. Is this my room right here? I'm gonna regret going in here. What the hell? Oh, that's a red light over there. That doesn't mean anything good right there. I'm gonna ignore that. Oh, wait, that's not even a light. That's a mirror. We're just gonna ignore that for now. Oh, sweet. More money's for me. More doubloons to add to my inventory of awesome. Alright, what the hell is gonna go wrong with this now, I wonder. Do 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 do. Oh, there's something back there. Do not! Do not open that. Nice butt. I mean, I'm sure there's probably something I could have done with that, but I don't think I want to. Just for some reason, that just seems like that could be a potentially bad idea. She has a business card. So I'm guessing I don't really have a choice in the matter, because that's like... The only way forward right now. But I'm afraid that if I go ahead and I have her do that, it's just gonna blow up on me and stuff like that, you know? Oh. 
Oh, what the hell? I do believe she's fine. Oh, take one of those cameras, please. Because I lost mine. Can we take one of those cameras? Can I take this camera, please? Jesus. There's cameras everywhere. Let's take it, then. Let's take it. Take the camera, please. Take the camera, please. Well, you know what? Maybe this is probably a good thing. You could take the camera. Because I don't have mine anymore. And I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Gosh, she's going to get crushed. Kate's gonna watch. Let's watch that again. Kate just has to sit there and watch, and oh boy. There's still like so many more of these to find. There's still like four, six, seven more to find. And I think you get stuff if you unlock the rest of these silver frames, I guess. Well. That's not cool. Definitely not cool at all. What is this? This is where I just was, right? So apparently he can see what's going on in there. It's a two-way mirror. Oh, great. Creep. Alright, so what's over here? Holy crap. There's another mirror? Wait. Okay. I can't go in, apparently. That one must have been broken. That's the one I just came in from. What do we have here? Okay, so we got three monitors, nothing apparently that I can look at. Can we take one of these cameras? Okay, fine, I didn't want it anyways. Actually, I really kind of do, because we, ooh. It's that guy. Charles. Is it Charlie? You want to know what it means to be a killer? You ever been to the art museum downtown? They got this painting by a guy, I forget his name, famous painter. He did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks. You take a normal person to a slaughterhouse and they will puke their guts out. You make it into a painting, and suddenly it's art. There's no difference between the two. Huh. Not really. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. 
To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That moment when someone realizes they are at their end. That's when you feel it. That's true art. That's what you have to be. An artist. A sculptor. An architect. I see the gleam in your eye, Agent Monday. You're not fooling me. Look! Oh, look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on, then. Huh? I'm right here. This room is soundproof. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. There you are. I see you now. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Their hands can feel good, huh? The blade makes for such a prettier picture. Uh, you've got potential, Agent Monday. If you truly want to be an artist. <clears throat> I don't suppose... Just what we need, no lights now. Oh, hey, it worked. Wow. Good for you, Kate. What the hell? What? Is that like her vanity mirror? What kind of light are you getting out of that thing? Apparently, it's more than I thought. Are you using your microphone, or are you, is that your... She has an actual... Why is it I can never use characters that have these good flashlights? Good God. Look, look at Aaron's Stay flashlight. Stay close to me. Yes, ma'am. I mean, look at Aaron's flashlight. It's like so much brighter than hers. Hers is like a little pocket light that... doesn't give you much light at all. It's so annoying. I don't even know who Kate's talking to anyways, because I don't even know, I don't even know why I'm even acknowledging her. She's dead. She is dead to us. Why are the doors always locked? Can I just find a couple doors that are actually open? Is this that book that she had? Oh, look at that. Her book is actually... He says self-help books don't work. Seriously, wow, good for you, Kate. That was actually a smart thing to do there. Charlie threw it down here earlier. Of course he did. But for now... <laughs> but for now... It's helping us out. <laughs> Okay, I didn't get to explore the other area, but I guess that doesn't matter because we're here now. Unless I can get shimmy through again. Nope. I am SOL out of that one. I... I don't 
don't think that's Jamie. Who's that? Who are you talking to? Who's talking to me? No. No. Maybe. Hello? Can you hear me? Somebody there. She obviously no four to want to talk to me. Alright, fine. You don't want to talk to me? That's fine. I don't mind. I'm just gonna open this door instead. Casey Missy Michelle, morning, writing, 8 a.m. Requested to use the library or the music lounge to assume I'm in, in one of those. Lunch, family time, 2 p.m. Can we dine outside the garden? Evening, 5 p.m. The bar seems like a good writing spot. Not dinner, 9 p.m. Kate can use her pencil to find out what was written on the torn paper. Go Kate. Spare room code 1999. Spare room code 1999. You know, I've forgotten that I probably could have used a lot of these codes or like things for uh, for inspection stuff. So I feel a little stupid right now. Because if I had paid attention to that, I would have covered a lot more than I have right now. Manny Sherman, The Beast of Arkansas by Joseph Morello. Wait, hey, look at this. Hey, what? His name is... It's a true crime book. Look at the author, Joseph Morello. So the guy on the ferry wasn't Dumet. Joseph Morello. Whoa. Interesting. But honestly, I was glad to be leaving. They've been nice folks, the Stewarts. Real nice. Both in their 70s now. Dad's still strong as an ox, having been a military man before moving to the town to settle to start a family. Mom was starting to get a little frail. You could tell she'd taken it the hardest. Mrs. Stewart had me... Had me had made me coffee. She was functioning okay, but had a dead behind the eyes look. 26 years on, still living in the cocoon of numbness which such devastation can bring. We talked a lot. They were at ease, talking about anything. The night the night it had happened, the cruel details, how they felt about him, it was just a fact of life to them. Their daughter had been murdered by a serial killer, and that was their world. That sounds really mean. Maybe use kinder words. I don't like the cocoon sentences. They're a uh, more relatable metaphor. Everything... It was a shock when they they offered to show me Mary's room. I was apprehensive, but thanked them and agreed. It would be helpful to get an idea of what kind of girl Mary was. I followed Mrs. Stewart. I could feel that the toll that the murder had taken as well as walked through the house and upstairs to Mary's room. Her husband didn't like to go into that room. Things were neat and tidy. It was shabby. He, we walked over a beaten old carpet, past outdated wallpaper and paint, mostly biblical, that were thick with dust. The strain and financial impact must have been huge. Mrs. Stewart hadn't worked since Mary's death. Again, sounds really mean. Can you not just say they had a rough time of it being so descriptive? Not being so descriptive? Maybe explain why? Did she find it difficult to face anyone? Her schoolwork was stacked by her bed, and her childhood toys and dolls were still displayed on shelves. What stuck out the most though, was her uniform still hanging in the front of the wardrobe, ready for her shift at the dinner diner the next day. Mary was a tiny girl, only 5'1", and weighed less than 100 pounds. She didn't stand a chance that night she was taken. I kept thinking about her room as I drove through the town. Milton would have been an unremarkable place in 95, but it was 
was close to lifeless now, mostly boarded up by boarded up buildings. The only open shops were liquor stores, which had bums outside there drinking till 11 a.m. It was as if the town had died when Mary did. Eventually, Milton faded in my rearview mirror as the image of Mary's uniform burned into my mind. Go hug Natalie right now, please. Later that day, I finally got back to our house, scrambling over a package set on our doorstep, a brown box. I had no idea who it was from, but had Michelle or something. Curiosity took over, and I hauled it inside. Opening it, I found an old tape recorder along with a quartet of tapes. I listened to the first one. The voice, I'm mistaken, it was, it was Sherman. Nope. Maybe mention their interviews. Interviews? I don't even know if I looked at all that, but that's fine. I think. For now, I think that's fine. I got a dolly! Dolly, dolly, auction free. Ooh. Bethany. Was that in a sign in book? I'm guessing that's Morello's daughter. Possibly. It's coming from through here. Listen. Listen, you ghost. Connie. Connie the dog. I'm almost thinking that that's probably going to be a uh, another mannequin, possibly, to throw us off. Daddy's little girl ain't so happy. She's looking kind of sad. Please. Please stop crying, Mommy. Please stop crying, Mommy. So where's Daddy? Dead. That's the doll. That's the dog. Ooh. What's this here? Beast Body Burger. What? Arkansas this week. The body of the so-called Beast of Arkansas has been removed from its grave by suspected body snatchers. The infamous serial killer, whose real name is Manny Sherman, was executed earlier this month and his remains are buried at the undisclosed cemetery in Springsdale, Arizona. A senior police spokesperson for local law enforcement stated at a press conference, We believe this to be the work of a serial killer, obsessive, obsessives, and are pursuing various leads. We assume there are multiple suspects involved, but have not ruled out that it may have been an individual. Although the burial site is unknown, rumors have been circulating among serial killer enthusiasts forums online since Sherman's execution. When questioned by the press about such online groups, the spokesperson added, Though these people who call themselves fans of killers are very foolish. If they were aware of the despicable details of such crimes as we in the law enforcement are, they would rethink their views about celebrating such heinous criminals. Police refused to confirm the name of the cemetery to the media in the aftermath of the news. Woman! Alright, Aaron, why'd your light just all of a sudden suddenly get dark, dimmer? I mean, ghost lady. It's gonna be a mannequin, isn't it?
my boy. So, yes! We did it! We saved him! He's a little worse for wear, though, but... He's still alive! Yes! My boy! He lives! The phoenix rises from the ashes. Oh, I'm so happy he's okay. I know he's a dick, but I'm happy he's okay. And he better not be worried about having a cigarette now because he's had plenty of smoke to satisfy his urges, I hope. Anyways, we continue. Now he's got to make sure he doesn't get a thing through his chest now. Or is that, um... Or is that, um... Mark. Welcome back, Charlie. You yeah, all right, bloody bastard. It's great to see you again, lad. Brush yourself off, you fool. Yeah, I don't know why I even bother. Oh, it's great to see you again, laddie. Now we gotta do is hope maybe we can save, uh, Mark. Alright, so I'm pretty sure Charlie has nothing. So whatever we have, he's basically on his own now. He has no lighter, so he cannot light anything anymore. Wait a minute. Before I continue, can I get the lighter from the thing? way I can get the lighter from the dummy. Does that even still work? Nope. That was burned to a crisp. Okay, great. Thank you. Alright. So, Aaron's dead. Even though she's technically still alive. My boy Mark is potentially dead. Because I couldn't find a place to hide. He's been gassed though. So maybe. We can still save him. If we're lucky. But I don't know. My uh. My feelings are feeling a little bit uh. A bit um bleak at this moment in time. Okay, so we can go in here. But there's a room back here that I need to inspect. Okay. I don't know what that is. It was like a workbench or something. Okay, so nothing there. Wait. Oh, I thought there was something there. Maybe our boy uh, Charlie can find Mark and bring him home. Got a badge. The Federal Bureau of Investigation Department. Charlie has now become member of the FB freaking I. Nope, never mind, I'm sorry. Does this mean the guy used to work for the FBI? So I know like Dumat was supposed to be like a uh, jack of all trades. But the one will better know if no man is a killer. 
Oh, this sucks. This truly sucks. How the hell am I going to find a way out of here? Is there like a flashlight or something like that I can pick up? There's no way in hell I'm getting out of here without a flashlight. Whatever. We're just going to do it. And pray. It's a freaking maze. A maze that I can't see shit in right now. And I don't have any light. The only light I have is that thing right there. And that don't tell me much. Well, maybe it does tell me something. God, I hate the dark. Can we turn that on? <coughs> oh, God, I hate these. I'm always afraid they're going to blow up. There we go. I mean, we did kill him? This guy had dummy the whole time? Wait. Help me! I can't see your life. A fucking fake. Please. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Please! Please! I'll do anything! <laughs> he was moving a lot more fluently the first time we did this. They never hurt anyone. <laughs> Just leave them alone. We'll do whatever you want. And how he made the dummy. Materials. Kidney behind. Light contradiction. X. Extracular muscle. Extractor muscle to keep loose pins. Good God. That's not cool. And what do we have here? Automatic waste disposal unit. Crushing. Oh dear. Riding on the conveyor at any time can cause severe injuries. Entanglement hazard. Remember to shut off and lock out. Stay clear of the moving belt and evacuate via the emergency immediate emergency ladder. Conveyor may start without warning. I have a feeling this is how our girl gets crushed. Don't want to touch it though. Because I feel like that could have repercussions later on. But of course it's probably the only thing I can do. Because why the hell not? We'll just get burned. We'll just get crushed. That's all. Alright, fine. You're expecting me to get on that now, aren't you? 
Uh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. How about, how, can, can I just take you? Can I just take you and drag you in there and we'll dump you in there and we'll see how you fare first? And if you somehow don't get crushed, then I'll know it's okay and I'll go in there with you. It's a good thought, right? Ah, here we go. Oh god. Oh god. him there. Shit! It's me! Get in here! Jamie? God. What the hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. In one of the bedrooms, there was a body, a woman. She'd been decapitated. It was Joseph Morello's wife. I saw a photo of her. She was called Michelle. So we're not his first victims. Nope. Have you seen Mark? No. I've seen Demet, though. He's creeping around. Scalp How the hell are they just nearly avoiding this guy this whole time? Go 
Good God, that would be enough to go and drive me crazy. Jesus. What is all oh, this? Really He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. It's like a nerve center for the whole building. It's a director's suite. Maybe Ooh. we could use it to find a way out. Look for something to unlock the outer doors. This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Dude. That is one hell of an elaborate electrical system this right there. Lot. This is top end gear. I mean, I know he's rich, but you could launch a rocket from in here. Why does it sound so quiet? I gotta turn the heater off. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured thing. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. What do you think it is? I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. What's the difference? Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. I hope that'll go off in a few That's not minutes. crazy. No. Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure. Like low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does did his mommy not hug him enough? <laughs> Bad parenting can Amber definitely be Brandis, a factor, day set, June but 6. I mean, it could be a Thank shitty Brandis, dad just as much, or an uncle, any adult figure, really. Don't you read any of our research? I just set up the lights. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. Well, I he's a psycho. Chicago Police, Mr. Monday, this is Chicago Police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at... 8 West 50th Street, requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere, and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh, 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 okay, great. Call Stanley. You Damn must it, be Carl. in a position of power, especially over women. But why this? Why us? Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. How did he build all this? Ooh. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Charlie Mark was last seen Ernest in the basement. Crossed out. Mark, basement, Jamie, Kate. Can we use this gear to find a way out? North, north, south. Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. Not it, crew. Bedroom, bar, restaurant, pendulum, kitchen, basement, furnace. North corridor. Why is... Corridor. Apparently, Charlie he thinks he thinks Charlie's dead. He doesn't realize Charlie's still alive. Mark is in the basement, so he's still alive. Aaron, Jamie. Okay. Wow, that's pretty thorough. That's kind of creepy in a way. I don't know how I would how I would take that if someone had that much information on me. I mean, 
You know, than what I divulge, anyways. I don't think I would appreciate that too much. Oh, this is where that the dummy was just. Take a look at this. I wonder if Charlie will come into view. What is that? That's the guy dummy. we saw murdered. Was it set up? There was no groundskeeper. Why would he do that? To scare us. To get us in the mood for his fun and games. Nice. I'm glad you think that's nice. I'm surprised they didn't... Oh, well, it's a live feed, so... And he's not there, so he didn't realize that Charlie had just looked at all that. So, and if he did, then he probably already knows that Charlie is still alive. Although we did almost grind him in, I almost grounded him in dust just recently. All right, are there any downstairs? I feel like I want to go possibly go this way first. Just because I feel like going up is going to be lead to something interesting. Why the hell am I going down? I don't know. Maybe I'm just hoping to find some more money or something. Okay. Oh, this leads down to the bottom of where the bottom of the electrical room we'll call this the command center we'll call it good lord this is so elaborate chimney cricket man they don't have our dolls they don't have our mannequins there anymore She's got her pants showing. Michelle initially appeared excited, becoming increasingly agitated. Really alone, more difficult to separate her. Wanted the hotel later last night. Opportunity? Bathed away, bathed away from the family room. Notice we tired towards the end of the day. Drinks socially. Use this heavy sleeping pill. Spills. Target her at the end of the day. Give wine sleeping pills when bathing. Separate her. What's he got, Kate? Harrison Lee. Death via asphyxiation. Reset trap before the next group arrives. Lewis Lee. Drowned. Fish body out of pool. Cecil Hall. Death from blood loss after impalement on a sundial. Body disposed of. Kurt Hall. Multiple gunshot wounds. Thomas Hall. Single gunshot wound. Execution. Good lord, man. June Collins. June Collins. It looks like a T. 41 years. Open my simple to quarters. Healthy. Seemingly no major health issues within a thousand kilometers. Nuclear family of five, extra, extra, ex, estranged extended family, fluent in Spanish and French, ambidextrous, travels a lot, runs late at night, runs when traveling as well. Good for you, June. And We're not the first, are we? Well, duh, you just. You just saw her, you just peddled in just now. So, obviously you're not. No, get back here! Get back here. I was not done reading that. Andrew Collins, 38 years old. I'm 38 years old. Average build, did amateur boxing, deal with first, maybe. Unknown oh, medical condition, follow up on this. Huh. 
Okay, I read it. I feel better now. Dude, is that pictures of all of us? Dude, these are pictures of all of us. He's profiling us. Dude. 49 smoker. The masochist. Identify. Dude. This is kind of screwed up. I, I, I still want to know why they targeted these five. Is there a reason for it? By the way, Kate looks pretty cute with her hair down. Just saying. What do we got? Potential book. Not just about you, it's about everyone. Patient's name, Jamie Tiergan, age 26, date of birth, 8796, gender type, female, ethnicity, African American, blood type, A positive, eye color, brown, height, bunch of stuff I don't care about, name of medical clinic, running water, medical center, date of last checkup. Really? You're that thorough in checking them out? Dude, it's got like everything here, man. This is. Really, really weird. Self-destructive tendencies, impulsive. Cat Wilder, age 30, date of birth. Identify female, blood type O, brown, 119 viewpoints. Name medical viewpoint, North Medical Center, date of last checkup. Okay. Medical number, insurance number, contact number. Next of kin, Veronica Wilder, mother, Lars, retired presenter, medication. Perk setting started. Initial dose 20 milligrams early day, maintenance dose 20 50 milligrams or blah, 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 blah. blah. Patient sees medication on 223.22 in favor of natural remedies. Chronic or recurring conditions, anxiety, allergies, penicillin. I got allergic to allergies. I'm allergic to the penicillin. Additional notes, recurrent PTSD. Had a written notes, PTSD. Uh, there's got to be more in that book than that. I just screwed up. There's got to be profiles for the rest of them, too. You cannot tell me that that is not the case. Okay. So we just have the... I was going to say, it's got to have all of them. Alright. Aaron Keenan, 24, female, blood. Asian American, blood, B, brown, 15. Why does he need all these this information corticosteroid out inhaler albuterol inhaler recurring asthma house dust my pollen house pets none handwritten no self-confidence issues mark nestor male african blood type o positive brown 220 hunter's bay ferryman what the hell's all that got to do with anything brenna nestor employee cameraman medication none none additional notes recently treated for Acrophobia. No idea what acrophobia is. Okay, she's got the four of them apparently. Or did I just go backwards accidentally? Charlie Lennon, 73. Lou Gray, 204. Pam Lennon, director. Borderline narcissist. Narcissist! Not masochist. Narcissist. Alright, I think we got all the information we need. Oh shit. It's getting that late already. Good lord. There's so much to look at down here. Alright, Kate, we gotta run a little bit here. I wish I could do this. Be out of breath after the first couple flights, for Christ's sakes. Yeah, we gotta run now. Pray nothing sneaks up. What is this? The 
tape. Hi, Mr. Monday. This is Lucinda Price from Twilight Prairie Care Home. I tried to call you a couple of times. We, um, I, I understand that your are making voice recordings of your mother, and we do believe in supporting relatives, and, and of course, you want to capture those precious memories. But, uh, we've had some complaints from some of the other residents who are All right, that's not creepy at all. So, what exactly? Over we... here. We got the blueprint of the house. Look at this. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against them. All right. What's your plan? Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. <laughs> so how do we get him to go down that hall? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. No, no, no way. If something goes wrong, one of us will be dead. Yeah, I'm not super into doing it, but I am done being scared of what's around every corner. There's no second chances here. Who's gonna do it? It's my plan. I'll be the bait. You're joking. No. One of us has to. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Okay. How sweet. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. Jamie, don't do anything stupid. If you see him, please just run. You have to come back, okay? Copy that. All right. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Jamie, my respect for you grows by the second, girl. You have more balls than I ever will have, and I love you and respect you for that, girl. But that's all the time we got for this one. We're going to have to see. I think we're getting towards the climax of this now. It's going to be fun to see where this all turns out. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this because I know I sure as hell have. I mean, the, the jump scares have gotten a little bit lame, I'm going to say, as it's progressed. I mean, they haven't really freaked me out as much as the, the, the first ones did. Where we had, like, the, the mannequin jump out at me. Or the one where the where Mark got attacked by the mannequin with the knife when he was reaching for that hat. I mean, I don't know. Just because I become immune to it, I have a feeling it still got some got some uh, surprises heading my way. But we'll find out what happens. So we'll see what happens, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye for now, everyone. Have a good night.